We just finished a live stream where we were talking about Google Drive backup for Home Assistant. I'd been using a Google Drive backup add-on, but I just got introduced to a new one, which everybody is saying is awesome. So we're going to try it out, and I'm going to record it to make a video. Because that's what I do. So this is the first time I'm walking through this, but I bet we can figure it out. This is the add-on. Okay, installation, you go to the add-on page and you add this URL. So we'll do that, copy, hash.io, add-on store, new repository URL, add, bingo. Now it's probably gonna be down here at the bottom, right here. This is the other one I was using, which has been fine, but we'll try this one out too. A complete and easy way to back up Hassai on Google Drive. Create a snapshot, configured schedule, clean up old snapshots, recover quickly from a disaster, that's important. Notifies you when something goes wrong, super easy installation, simple understandable interface, privacy-centric design philosophy, comprehensive documentation, most certainly doesn't mind Bitcoin on your home automation server. Definitely no. Ah, good, that's nice. Install. Let's go back to the instructions. Click install. Take note of the default configuration options. Most people, the default settings are sufficient. Max snapshots in Hass.io to store locally and before the old ones are deleted. Okay, max snapshots on Google Drive. Okay, Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of free. Some snapshots can get really big, so watch that. Days between snapshots. How often do you want your snapshots to be taken? And then use SSL, whether or not you use SSL for DuckDNS, etc. It's installed. So now we're going to look at the configurations. I don't use SSL. I'm going to change mine to one day between snapshots. Okay. Save that. Once you start the add-on, it will start cleaning up old snapshots immediately. Snapshots. So I've got five. I'm going to create a full backup first. Not a bad idea to create a full snapshot first. Okay, our new snapshot's done. So now I'm pretty secure that I've got at least the most up-to-date stuff saved. Now we'll go back to this Hass.io Google Drive backup. There's also this backup Hass.io to Google Drive, which is different than the Hass.io Google Drive backup. Click Start. Watch the logs. Missing message format. Cannot access data credentials.dat. Server started. Okay, it said server started, so let's open the web UI and see what happens. Oh, there it goes. All right. To begin this add-on, you will need to access your Google Drive. On your first backup, it will create a new folder at the root of your My Drive where future backups will be stored. Once it's created, you can move the folder wherever you want. Okay, cool. It already knows how many snapshots I have. That's nice. Once you authenticate with Google Drive, the oldest two snapshots will be deleted because I said I wanted the four newest to get backed up. All right, let's authenticate with Google Drive. Okay, sign in. Allow Google Drive to do whatever it wants to do. Should be directed to, oh, in a moment. Ah! I think this is the problem. And if we go to the add-on, it's going to say, cannot access credentials.dat. So I did a little digging, and it turns out I'm not the only one that has had that error. Seems like, uh, for some reason, Hasso is just not responding. One person said that he restarted the computer and that fixed it. So I just went to Proxmox and I restarted Hass.io from there, like the whole virtual machine. So it's back up now. We're going to go in there and see if that made any difference. So back to Google Drive, this one, open web UI. If you select, okay, it fixed. And <laughs> now it's updating. So if you get that same error, just go in and restart and it seems to do the trick. Looks like it's uploading now. Awesome. That was pretty easy. I got to say. I uh, definitely want to send error reports if I get them. So, sweet. Now we're just going to wait for it to back up. Check back on it in a bit. There it is. All done. And then if you go to Google Drive, there will be a folder called, here it is, has.io snapshots is where that add-on will put your snapshots, and there they are. So what, do, what else do we have here? We've got actions. What can we do? Delete, download. Restore, restore the overriding the current configuration. Oh, okay. 
So that'll just do, oh, that's interesting. So you can just manage your backups from right here. You don't have to go to the snapshots page in Hasio. And then never delete. Keep this snapshot indefinitely. Hmm. Cool. All right. Well, that's pretty awesome. I guess the only other things you can do, if you look at these options, there are some other options. You could set what time of day it back up, backs up and stuff like that. We can actually update some of these configuration settings through the user interface. So here's my user interface. It's kind of jumbled up with this text. Maybe my screen is too small. Right here, there's a settings gear. Click that guy. And here you can make the changes that we actually set up in the config box. So most add-ons have that configuration box and you can put these things in there if you're comfortable doing that, if you like doing that, or you can do it right here through the web user interface and these settings. This is cool. So I can change how many snapshots I keep on Home Assistant or in Google Drive. I'm actually going to change my Home Assistant one to only like two. And then the snapshot time of day to 24 hour clock, hour then minute. So I'm going to do it at 6 a.m. every morning. That's the time I like to do my backups. It's a good time to do backups. You can also add a password to your snapshots to keep your snapshots protected. Very cool. You can change the naming if you'd like. Snapshot something something blah 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 blah. Great. Looks like it's already enabling staleness notifications so if the snapshot didn't work. UI server options require login. Okay. Or, US, or SSL. Great. If you want to do those things, you can. What does keep generational snapshots do? Oh, okay. So you could keep like three daily snapshots and one weekly snapshot. Even if this was the oldest, it wouldn't delete it. That's cool. And then this I liked a lot. I was just peeking at this. Partial snapshots. Decide in here if you don't necessarily want to back up every add-on. I'm going to take some of my add-ons off, not back them up. All right, settings saved. Very cool. So who made this add-on again? Sabi Chen. Sabi Chen, nice work, my friend. This is fantastic. Thank you so very much. You get a star. And do you have like a buy me a coffee or something on here? You should, because you are saving us all a whole lot of trouble. I don't see it. So Sabi Chen, if you have a way for us to say thank you by throwing you a couple bucks, let us know. Let us know where to do that. Okay. Appreciate your work, my friend. This is fantastic. This is a really, really good, very useful Google Drive backup system. So thank you very much. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios.